0873. Now, we love our advertisers here on 2GB. Don't get me wrong. Because without them, we wouldn't have a job. This is commercial radio. It's the way it works. We're not handed billions of dollars by the federal government like the ABC to produce radio shows and TV shows. It is a commercial environment. So the advertisers who advertise on 2GB, they're like family. However, there are some who produce ads that are so annoying that they kind of get to us a little bit. And that's normal in a family environment. There are some things that our parents or our siblings might do that just annoy us. It doesn't mean that we're going to dis disown them. We still love them, but they do things that annoy us. A case in point is the blind factory. I read an email two days ago on this show from someone who said, please, please stop the bloody blind factory ads. And I said, look, I agree with you 100%. I hate the blind factory ads and I wish they didn't run during my program. Love the blind factory, but I just hate their ads. And I ran into my father-in-law the following day and he said, wow, didn't know you're able to bag the advertisers like that. And I said, no, I'm not bagging the advertisers. I'm just bagging the ad. And I understand Ray Hadley, I was listening this morning and he was teeing off as well about annoying ads. Well, Brett Thomas is the director of the Blind Factory and he joins me on the line. G'day, Brett. Hello, Ben. Good afternoon to you. I'm just thinking to myself, I'm a third child, so I'm one of four boys. I probably was picked on by my oldest brothers or something, sibling <laughs> rivalry, not sure. <laughs> you know, my, my father-in-law, Ross, said, because I told him, the other day, I said, look, I'm going to try and get them on for a chat. He said, how embarrassing would it be if you if you introduced the bloke and he came on with the voice, the blind factory annoying voice, and then I'd feel terribly guilty about the situation. Well, you see, I, see, I wouldn't do the voice because I can't really do it as well as uh, as Marcus Gore, who, who does do the voice. And, uh, you know, the last thing we want to do is obviously upset your listeners, but we... Uh so many ads, are, uh, they sell stuff. And we thought, you know, if we could be a little creative and, uh, and and not sound like we're selling stuff, I mean, obviously we've got to. We're commercial just like you. But I wanted to have a bit of fun with it, that uh, maybe we've gone too far. Oh, really? Maybe we could shorten the jingle. Shorten the jingle? Well, the jingle goes for a little while. We could, we could maybe halve the length of the jingle. Mm. And, 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 of course, we love, we love listener feedback, and we always tend to respond to any emails we get, because realistically, you know, we just, we want to have a bit of fun, as I said, and, mm. uh, and uh, mm. have a bit of variation in the ads. And we're always usually coming up with a new ad mm. uh, once or uh, once or twice a month so that you don't have to listen to the same one. Of course, they're a bit like Pavlova. They've got a crust around the outside, which is the jingle mm. and, uh, and, and, you know, a little bit of something on the inside. Mm. Were, were you guys high at the time when you came up with the idea for that annoying voice? Well, the story goes something like this, that he was sitting in a spa with a glass of champagne surrounded by lots of very beautiful ladies. Now, whether that uh, the sh he'd, he'd had a bottle or two, I'm not sure. Mm. But we wanted to say the name and we wanted to, obviously, he's a great fan of the Dunes and, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's in that genre. So but, who, is, uh, who is that voice? You just mentioned his name. Who's the annoying Mar bloke? Marcus Dorr. Marcus Dorr. Yes, and he's he's a man of many voices. He can mm. do he can do just about any voice that mm. uh, that you want. But um, you know, I uh, I always said you know we're a company that's pretty down to earth and pretty easy going. We want to make people laugh, and mm. you know we we want to do a good price. And if mm. they're not happy, we we'll always fix it, sort of thing. But well, uh, you know what, Brett? You know what? I I reckon you have had some fun with it, but I reckon the fun's over. Yeah. You know what I'm I mean? Happy. Yeah. Well, we, we certainly don't want to annoy equally. I've, I've had people send us emails that go, you know, when I hear that, it makes uh, it makes me cry. And I say, explain why. We, you know, we certainly don't want to do that. They say, well, my granddaughter. My granddaughter loves it. And she was living with me with my daughter for a while. And, and they've moved. <laughs> so and, Brett, uh, and now Brett. every time I hear the jingle, it makes me uh, makes me cry because I miss my granddaughter. Oh, Brett, Brett, I think they're crying because they are frustrated because they've had enough of the ad. Oh. Hang on one second, Brett. Hang on one second. Jeannie's called in. Hello, Jeannie. How are you? Hi, Ben. How are you? I'm all right. Hello, ben, I, I, Hi. Look, I like the ad. Because of the ad, I'm, uh, I'm going to have new blinds put in. Oh, <laughs> it's just, it's a jingle that gets to you. Oh, uh, what? Oh, come on, Ben. Like, you know, you think the blind get, you, you just get, you listen to it, and you think, oh, my God, that's a blind ad again. Mm. I like it. 
Sorry. Thank you, Jeannie, and I don't oh, know you. No. <laughs> Unbelievable. There That's are okay. there are other people. Jeannie, thank you. You're no help to me. Brett, there are other people calling in like George saying, I switch the station whenever the ads come on. Now, the boss of the radio station wouldn't be a fan of that. No, and, uh, and uh, you know... Equal, uh, Brett, I'll do you a deal. Look, look I, I like to try and cut through, Yep. you know, and I like to try and get a resolution, right? I would be prepared to do all sorts of things in order for that annoying voice not to be heard between three and six. I don't care whether he's heard during Alan Jones's program, Ray Hadley's program, Chris Smith, Ross Greenwood, Brian Wilshere, Steve Price, Michael McLaren. I'm not fussed. But if we could strike a deal, I think I would be prepared to even install blinds for some of your customers. <laughs> I would be prepared to come to the factory and do a day's work if it meant striking some kind of deal with you just so that annoying voice by Marcus Dorr is not heard between three and six. I'm and sure I, we can, I'm I, sure I would we can even, come up with some sort of deal for you, Ben. I, I would even, I, I would love to record my own ads for the blind factory. And what about if I recorded ads saying, you know, the blind factory, they listen to your feedback. They heard that you wanted a break from those annoying ads, so they've decided to give you a brief reprieve and for me to tell you about how fantastic the Blind Factory is. I think that would still get people's attention. It would still remind people about the origin of the ad. Do you think that the people in your advertising department would consider such a proposal? Well, the beauty, the beauty is that the people in the advertising department is essentially myself and Marcus. And, you know, <laughs> so we, we, we're more than happy. I mean, it's... It's about being in business and being in customer service, isn't it? If you don't listen to what mm. people are saying, then mm. you're one or two things. You, uh, you, you, you're you fast going to go out of business. Or, mm. But, um, look, it's been very successful for us. We do literally thousands of consultations as a result, as Jeannie said before. Mm. Uh, and But but if you know if you want to come up with some ideas, and I, I, I appreciate you offering to go and install the blinds, and I'm sure you'd be good at it. But mm. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, Brett. I'll make my own blind factory ad. Yep. And I will, I'll, I'll produce it over, over the next, I'll, I'll produce it tomorrow, right? And so I'll produce it, let's say between now and next week, I'll come up with a 30-second ad that's promoting the Blind Factory that I think does justice to your brilliant company, which we've got a lot of time for, and I will pitch it to you, and you guys can jump in the spa like you did with Marcus over a bottle of champagne originally when you came up with this idea. You can play it, and you can mm -hmm. make a decision, and if you're comfortable with it, we could run it from next week between three and six. If other programs wanted to, well, I'll leave, I'll leave everyone else up to doing what they want to do. But I'll make this little ad. It will reference the, the fact that some people like the ad, some people don't. I'll do my best to do justice to your brand and I'll pitch it to you. And if you'd like it, maybe we could run it just for a period, maybe a week or a month, just so that you can see what the feedback's like on that ad. Love to, Ben. That'd be great. You and happy with that? If, uh, if, if any of your listeners have any ideas, I'm... More than happy for them to email me. Oh, uh, no. You know, there are ideas uh, to brett at theblindfactory.com.au because we have actually taken um, feedback from customers before and their suggestions and turned them into ads. So mm. there's my email. Hopefully it won't overload. Uh, but, brett uh, at theblindfactory.com.au. You just hang on there. Mario's calling in. There's hundreds of people calling in. Hello, Mario. How are you? Hi, buddy. How you doing? I'm all right. Hello, Mario. What? I've got... Hello, mate. I've got an idea, Ben, for your program just for a bit of a laugh. Mm. I want to hear other listeners call in and try to sing the Blinds Factory no. commercial <laughs> in no. the silly voice that it's sung. Mario, That's what I'd like to hear. Mario, you're adding fuel to the fire. I'm trying to extinguish the blaze. Yeah, but I, I, I reckon it'll be good, just good for a good, good laugh. Mario, thank you for your suggestion. You can add further suggestions by emailing brett at theblindfactory.com.au. Brett, I'll get in contact with you off air. I'm going to produce my own 30-second commercial, and I, it will only run if you're happy with it starting next week. That'd be fantastic, Ben. I appreciate it. See, there's lots of people that, that do like it. Of course, there's some people that, uh, that do complain, which I totally understand. Yeah. So appreciate oh, mate, your time. I know some people like it. There are some strange people out there, Brett. <laughs> Good to talk to you, mate. And you, all the best. Brett yeah. Thomas, Director of the Blind Factory. If you've got some feedback for Brett Direct, brett at theblindfactory.com.au. Now, police have given us a statement about the...